Good evening, and welcome to the Wine Corner. I'm your host, Kelly McKinney, and this time we're going to go into a bottle of Starborough's um, Sauvignon Blanc, a uh, 2013 bottle, um, and uh, this week's theme music was uh, Debussy's Claire de Lune, and the chess setup was Fisher vs. Bime. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to jump right into this bottle, okay? Um, <laughs> like I said, it's a 2013 bottle of uh, uh, Starborough's um, Sauvignon Blanc, and I bought this bottle for $12.99. Uh, when I was reading up on it, they age it for at least 30 days before they bottle it. Um, and what's really common in this region is a screw top, and uh, a lot of people assume that when they get a screw top that they're getting a cheap bottle of wine. That's not true. Um, in fact, uh, a lot of it's just really common in this region, and what it does is it uh, skips the possibility of getting a uh, rotten cork, um, in which case will ruin the whole bottle of wine, because then you'll have this um, moldy, dusty taste to uh, every sip of your glass. Um, and with this, uh, you know you're not getting um, any more oxygen than, than is already in there. So, uh, uh, so here we go. Get a better look at that. All right, Starborough, New Zealand, 2013. Okay. All right, and yeah, Starborough is located in New Zealand, hence Lord of the Rings, right? Okay. So we're not going to waste any time. Let's go ahead and we will get into this bottle here. Okay. As always, I just pour a little bit at first. Okay. and um, it's very clear, uh, basically white, uh, clear liquid, as clear as you can get. Um, if you're seeing a color there, please let me know. Um, the, I think the bottle itself has a green tint to it. Um, but yeah, color, clear, clarity, very much so. Um, you can see the little fizz there. Um, but they <clears throat> they advertise it as being a little acidic, so of course, and the viscosity it looks watery. It's sort of clinging to the glass a little bit, so it's not so watery that it just looks like a cheap wine. Okay, <clears throat> and tip it here. Yeah, we're getting that. Um, that it's, it doesn't look watery. Um, when you tip it on your side, you're looking for color density, um, which, will, which will give you a, a little idea of the age of the wine, um, but also just the quality thereof. Um, and this has that sort of not not uh, amber hue. I uh, can't uh, remember the word right now. Um, Oh, let me spin and smell. When you when you spin it, you're really aerating it, and it really unlocks the oh, the aromas. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. Oh wow! It, it smells incredibly s sweet. It smells like what I would expect from a moscato. It's got uh. Mm. I want to say that's the uh, it's a kiwi. I think I think I'm smelling some kiwi. Mm. Mm. Okay, All right. let's see. Very dry. Mm. Smells incredibly sweet. Very dry. Yeah, and I ta definitely taste the definitely taste the kiwi. So maybe some uh, a 
Yeah, and the passion fruit. It's got this bitterness separate from the the that ripe not ripe. That's how I would describe the flavor. That ripe um okay. Someone who's not uh familiar with wine would describe it as the taste of um rotten grapes, but we know better. Um, you know. But right past that there's a different bitter taste that I think is a I don't know, like guava, I think maybe. Yeah, and oh wow. It's weird. It has this I can't identify it, but it has this really green earthy tone. I've never had lemongrass. Okay, I've never had lemongrass. But I guess maybe it tastes like that. Mm. But that is fantastic. If you like a dry white wine, Starborough Sauvignon Blanc is very good. Mm. Yeah. So, in this I tasted uh, some passion fruit, some guava, and definitely the kiwi. Still getting the aftertaste that you have after you've had some kiwi. Mm. And then, of course, just the lingering deliciousness that uh, that that finish, that real nice finish that a smooth white wine gives you. Um, and I'm going to pour a little more. It was no coincidence that I mentioned New Zealand being the set of the Lord of the Rings um, when I decided to get and open this bottle of Starborough. Um, because uh, right now, um, yes, the bottle is from New Zealand, but uh, we have right, right now, Max and CW Productions has one project that we can basically start right away. Um, and that project is the Lord of the Rings online fan film which is a uh, which is an animation action fan film that's going to use the graphics already generated by the game uh, very much in the way the the um, short Red vs. Blue was done uh, which was uh, a comedy about the uh, Halo games um, but uh, with us um, it's going to be a series of short movies, um, uh, all surrounding the same few characters, and uh, it's going to be exploring Middle Earth and uh, a lot of fun. Right now, we have a, a really short um, and um, a really short teaser trailer that really only shows, you know, like the graphics and doesn't really show the uh, cinematography that we can um, that we're that we're going to employ. Um, on the actual project itself. Um, but uh, right now I'm working on uh, the finishing the script, and then all we have to do is cast a few voiceover actors, and we have to um, review our applications for um, online actors slash role players who will carry out the emotes and, and online actions that we need to film. Um, and so, right now, I'm also planning on putting together a, a much better teaser trailer than uh, the one we have than the one we have up right now. That will give you more details on the storyline and um, a, a better glance at some of the action that you can expect to see. Hmm. Uh, before we say goodbye, I just wanted to add about the wine. Um, two weeks ago, the port that I had uh, now ports are intended to be just a little bit stronger. But uh, I think they overdid it just a tad bit on the alcohol. With this, however, um, it is very dry, but it finishes very smoothly, and there's hardly any bite. Um, mainly what you get is that, uh, that greeny flavor as an aftertaste, and it strikes hard with a, uh, 
um, a bitterness of uh, kiwi and the smell of passion fruit. Okay, and then there's that really that hint of guava. I haven't had enough guava to really pick it out of there, uh, mainly because the the bitterness of the kiwi um, is what hits me most. But oh, that smells just fantastic. Thanks for tuning in. I'll be back in two weeks with a German bottle of Fetzer Gewürztraminer. Mm. And as always, this is Kelly McKinney, reminding you that a great wine is like a great woman. Always intoxicating, ever surprising, and only getting better with age. Thanks, and good night.